think people will die today because they chose to text and drive? According to nofozone.com, that's 6,000 preventable deaths a year. How many of you have texting just by show of hands on your phone? So most of you. And that's the reason why texting driving is becoming so um, such a bad issue right now because so many people have it. Um, and the most likely age group to text and drive is us. So, um, a study done by the Lego Corporation found that young adults ages 20 to 29 years old had the highest percentage of offenders admitting to text and while driving. So that's 62%, which is pretty high. Um, and that's why this topic is so important for you guys to think about because it's relevant to you and um, you can change it. And texting and driving puts your life in danger, other people's lives in danger, and in most states, it's illegal. First, texting behind the wheel puts your life in danger. Like I previously said, six people die, 16 people die a day from texting and driving. Um, and even if you think you're a good driver and you think you can multitask, you shouldn't like assume that you won't be one of the 16 people that dies. Um, studies done by Car and Driver Magazine, July 2010, shows that texting and driving is even more dangerous than drinking and driving by a long shot. Unimpaired, which means just regular, it takes 0.54 seconds to break. And then compared to sending a text message, it's 70 feet after that. So that's quite a ways. <coughs> this is just um, a visual to like, show you. Uh, this study also showed that the chance of getting in an accident while talking on the phone goes up by 400%. And if you're texting, it doubles and goes up to 800%. And that's huge. So not only are you putting your life at risk, but you're also putting other people's lives at risk as well. <laughs> According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, when a driver is texting, they avert their eyes from the road for at least 15 seconds. I mean, five seconds. Um, a lot can happen in five seconds. Someone can run out in front of your car, um, Someone can slam on the brakes in front of you, or the green light can change to red without you even noticing. And when you're texting, your mind isn't on the road, it's on what you're doing, even if you think it's on the road. Some may think that Bluetooth headsets or tongue texting is a solution to the problem. But Dr. Strayer, in his article, News and State Laws, um, says this is not the case. He says, the problem with talking on a cell phone while driving is not whether you use a hands your phone or not. If you're not paying attention to what your eyes are looking at, you just won't see it. And now that you understand the potential risk to you and other people, I'm gonna move on to my last point, which um, is to, which to tell you that driving and texting is not a good idea. And that is because in most states, it's legal. Some of you might not have known this. Um, I didn't until I researched, but it, texting is banned while you're driving in Virginia. And I didn't know that. But here's a map of all the states who ban it um, for all drivers, and some just ban it for new drivers. But just because it's banned doesn't mean people will necessarily obey it. People clearly think they can get away with this because Linda's texting while driving America report says that even though more state laws exist today to make texting while driving, 35% of mobile phone users continue to text behind the wheel. And that's at 26% since 2009. Um, cops are cracking down more than ever right now since it's becoming such a bad problem. And the fines go up to $700. So if you want to text and drive, you might want to think about that. In conclusion, yeah, and also, 
um, and funding spokeswoman for uh, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says that there are various issues with people calling the lot and enforcement is definitely one of them. It can be difficult to tell if someone's texting and the drivers don't think they're going to get caught in compliance with someone's time. And that's why people think they can get away with it. In conclusion, texting and driving is dangerous to you and others around you. And in most states, it's also illegal. So please, I urge you to be smart and put away your phone while you're driving. Maybe even turn it on silent so you're not tempted to look at it. Um, you never know what could happen to you in that five seconds where your mind is not on the road. So um, it could, the possible harm it could do might be, it's not worth it.